Division 2, but I hacked the Foundry Bulwark gear set into a 6 red core, no shield, out of cover DPS build with incredibly fast time to kill and time to heal. I'm going to show you how to make it. Hit the like right now and comment Red Foundry down below. Let, let, let me tell you why you're here. This is all about time. Time gives legitimacy to its existence. Time is the only true unit of measure. It gives proof to the existence of matter. Without time, we don't exist. I imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like Alice, tumbling down the rabbit hole. All the exploration you need. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Time is the only true unit of measure. Unfortunately, no one can be told. Speed up the image infinitely, disappears. So what proof do we have of its existence? Time gives legitimacy. Without time, we don't exist. He hasn't taken the pill. What? There's no time. I know, I know, he's, he's having a moment. Ah, it'll be fun, I promise. The perfect build has fast time to kill and fast time to heals. It's all about time. At full tilt, the weapon damage on this build is at the equivalent of 16 red weapon damage cores with 200% crit damage on top. If you're not sure what that means, let me be the one to tell you that's top tier damage output. And with it comes top tier damage recovery. It has 5% armor regen and double repair skills. Listen, that's in addition to the brand set's unique armor repair talent. Go with the Chameleon because it's going to bring all the crit chance you need. It also provides 50% crit damage and 90% weapon damage bonuses on full stack. 90% weapon damage is equivalent to 6 weapon damage cores. I have 4 foundry bulwark pieces and the mask is my first piece. You want every piece to look just like this crit damage with weapon damage rolled onto it. These normally come with armor, so you need to find crit damage already on your pieces. Running the full set is giving us 10% more armor, 1% armor regen, and makeshift repairs. That's what we're after. Makeshift repairs gives you back 20% of the damage you take over 15 seconds. Unlike armor regen, this doesn't rely on how much armor you have for strength. It functions the same with all red or all blue cores. I'll cover this in more detail during the gameplay. The backpack is an important element and one of the reasons why you want to have 6 red weapon damage cores on the build. With this build, we're focusing on both the short term and long term buffs. Each time we grab a trophy, we're getting 30% weapon damage bonus, bonus armor, and skill efficiency for our repair skills. When we're stacked with 30 trophies, we're getting another 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and 3% armor regen. Boundary gives us 1% armor regen too, so now we're at 4% armor regen on top of the skill repairs and makeshift repairs, and lots of burst damage thanks to the red cores and short term trophy buffs. The chest is bellstone for another 1% armor regen. So now we're at 5% with max crit damage and I rolled weapon damage. To make it perfect, I'd go with skill repair or armor regen instead of headshot damage. For the talent, I chose obliterate for more damage. Kinetic momentum for more repairs is also great. The base heals on this is about 50,000 heals per second before the backpack buffs. We will be at 55% crit chance and 190% crit damage when adaptive instincts on the chameleon kicks in. We have 5% armor regen, but the momentum's 3% regen isn't showing up here. I'm using the survivalist specialization so I can use the mender seeker. I like that it's hands off. You can use the technician also and the healer chem too. That'd give you even more of a boost in heals. Go gunner if you want the 10% armor on kill. All of these are good paths. Hey, if you're looking for a new and more exciting experience in the division two, you found the right channel. And the Tux's discord is the place to be. We talk builds, group up, organize raids, and make solid friends. This is a free resource you should be taking advantage of. You're invited. This build is not 
not about tankiness. It's about fast time to kill and fast time to heal. There are a lot of nuances to why it works so well. Many love the chameleon, but those same champions would also say they don't like waiting for the power to kick in once it has all its stacks. This build provides you full red core power up front, plus obliterate and 30% weapon damage bonus from the 30 backpack stacks. And when you pick up a backpack trophy, you go on hyper kill mode. That's besides the adaptive instincts weapon talent. And also why we want to go full red core on this build. So when the gun kicks in, you are a supercharged killer for sure. But I chose Foundry Bulwark for its unique makeshift repairs talent. As I mentioned earlier, its potency isn't based on how much armor you have. It's based on the enemy's damage you took and returns 20% of that to you over 15 seconds. So if you're constantly taking damage, then it's constantly healing you. You've heard me say it so many times. It's not about how much armor you have, it's how fast you recover. And that still applies here. But with more armor, makeshift repairs does improve in a way. You see, with more more armor, you can take more damage, so the 20% of that damage that the talent returns to you per second would be greater, and the more heals per second you receive means the more damage you can take and survive. But that circles us back to a very important principle. The most important component of survival is time to kill. If the enemy is dead, they're not shooting at you. With this setup, we have the best time to kill possible on this setup with the best time to heal, to play out of cover and without a shield. If we added more armor, we're pulling away from that. And for what? A micro millisecond more ability to take inbound damage? It's not worth it. If we roll all armor, then we turn into a tank with a not so great time to kill. That has its uses, but not what this build is. Also, I don't recommend glass cannon or you will be forced in cover more. You have enough damage here, don't get greedy. Your damage output is where it needs to be. Speaking of fast time to kill and time to heal, be sure to try this last classified build too. I created a max DPS build with over 8% armor regen. It's a regen rock star. If you didn't know, classified builds are secret builds made just for Texas Players Club, true and hardcore Bandito member levels. These are really extra builds that make us a thank you for supporting me and the channel and therefore the entire community because that's what I do. I build and support this community. If you want to tap into these secret builds, you can get access today by making sure you're at least a true Bandito member level. Click the join button or link below. Hey, Players Club members. Also, a quick reminder, there is a member only playlist on my YouTube homepage just for you. And there are members only channels for you to be taken advantage of on my Discord also. Music is a big part of my gaming experience. A good gaming playlist is what makes hours in the Division 2 feel like minutes. I create gaming music videos and playlists for download for hardcore Bandito members. In fact, I'm just about to drop a fresh one with some hot new beats. So if you like the types of jams you hear in these build videos, then make sure you're a hardcore Bandito member level so you can kick ass to a fat ass beat. Bandito's new content is coming but it's still important that we find our independence from the devs in the division 2. If you truly love this game and you want it to never end, it won't. As long as you surround yourself with a positive and innovative community. The division 2 Banditos are everywhere. But here on my YouTube channel, the Players Club, Tux's Discord, or in a Tux clan is where you can find them easily. I invite you to join us at any or all of these places. This 8% regen rock star is tightly tuned to destroy. Take a licking and keep on ticking. Try it next. Tuxedo out.